Welcome to Live at Pat's Crib, a monthly jam session featuring some of Virginia's finest jazz performers, streaming live and available on demand on YouTube. Tonight, the house band consists of Steve Rabson on keyboards, Bruce Middle on guitar, Dan Davis on bass, and yours truly, Pat Bergen on drums and vocals. Our special guests this month are Eric A. Jackson on trumpet and Ben Peters on sax. And so, without further ado, a trap. Won't play card games with Baron Xander. Will not go up to Harlem dress in ermine and pearls. Will not dish the dirt with the rest of the girl. That's why that lady is a trap. She loves to clean fresh in her hair Life without care She's broke But that's oak Hates San Francisco It's cold And it's damp and That's why that lady Is a tramp That clean, fresh, breeze in her hand, life without care. She's broke, that fat's oak, hate San Francisco, it's cold and damp. That's why that lady, that's why that lady, that's why that lady is a tramp. 
she's a tramp. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Live at Pat's Crib. This is episode number one. We're going to do these once a month, and I'd like to introduce to you the members of the band, if you do not mind, over there on bass, the one and only Dan Davis. <laughs> Here's a guy you've seen in many, many clubs around the area. Does a lot of stuff at the Colonial Tavern here in Fredericksburg. Yeah, him. Uh, the one and only Bruce Middle on guitar, ladies and gentlemen. On piano, he's been around forever. He, he's a Neanderthal. He actually has a pickaxe in his, I'm saying, it's made of rock. Uh, it's Steve Rapson on piano. And I'm Pat Berg, and I'm your host, and this is live at Pat's Crib. We're going to do one more with the house band, and then we're going to bring up our special guest. We have a couple of great performers for you tonight. Ben Peters is going to be on uh, sax for us in just a few minutes. Let's hear it for Ben. Yeah. And uh, Eric Jackson has got that Dizzy Gillespie uh, trumpet. He's going to be coming up and doing something with us a little bit later. On. All right. So uh, what are we going to play, boys? What do you think? How about the way you look tonight? Think so? Let her snort. One, two, one, two, three. Someday, when I'm awfully low, when the world is cold, I will feel a glow just thinking of you and the way you look tonight. You're lovely with your smile so warm. And your cheeks so soft There is nothing for me But to love you And the way you look tonight With each word Your tenderness grows Tearing my fears apart And that laugh, well It wrinkles your nose It touches my foolish heart Yes, sure, lovely Never, never change Keep that breathless charm Won't you please arrange it Cause I love you Just the way you look tonight
someday When I'm awfully low When the world is cold I will feel a glow Just thinking of you And the way you look tonight Yes, you're lovely With your smile so warm And your cheeks so soft There is nothing for me But to love you Just the way you look tonight With each smile your tenderness grows Tearing my fears apart And that laugh, well, it wrinkles your nose Man, it touches my foolish heart Yes, you're lovely Never, never change Keep that breathless charm Won't you please arrange it Cause I love you Just the way you look tonight Just the way you look Coming up, Jazz Club of the Month, and then we're going to introduce you to a fine young sax player from the Fredericksburg area. Mr. Ben Peters is going to join us. Coming right up. Hope you're enjoying the show here on Live at Pat's Crib. We have more music coming up for you in just a second, but right now it's our Jazz Club of the Month. As you'll notice from the the graphic behind me, we're at Baker's Keyboard Lounge in Detroit, Michigan. It's on Livernoy Avenue. If you're ever in Detroit and you want directions to Baker's, do not ask for Livernois. That's the way it's spelled. It's pronounced Livernois. All right, Baker's Keyboard Lounge started off in 1933 as a sandwich joint, but in 1939 was turned into a jazz club and is the oldest continuously operating jazz club in Detroit, certainly one of the oldest anywhere probably in the world, I'm guessing. Its uh, signature bar, as you can see here, in the shape of a keyboard, believe it or not, was the inspiration for Liberace to build his swimming pool. He saw that, that bar shaped like a keyboard and said, I want a piano-shaped swimming pool. But that is certainly not Baker's only claim to fame. The greatest jazz musicians in the world, practically all of them, have performed at Baker's at one time or another. Here's a partial list. Ella Fitzgerald, Miles Davis, Oscar Peterson, George Shearing, Sarah Vaughn, Joe Williams, Maynard Ferguson, Cab Calloway, Woody Herman, Modern Jazz Quartet, Nat King Cole, the list goes on and on and on. In 2016, uh, Baker's was approved as a historic district. Baker's Keyboard Lounge is now indestructible. Nobody can tear that thing down and build condos. It'll be there forever. Anyway, if you're ever in Detroit, make sure you stop by Baker's Keyboard Lounge for a taste of history. And they have great food there, too, I might point out. Okay, back to the show.
Peters and uh, Ben. Uh, I've got a couple of things I want to ask you. First of all, the f you're a very young guy, and it's not every day that very young guys who are musicians are interested in playing jazz. They want to play rock and roll, or they want to play country, or whatever. So, how is it that a guy as young as you decided to become a jazz sax player? Well, um, for as long as I've, as long as I can remember, I've always been playing music. Uh, my father was in radio, and uh, my father used to be an opera singer, and he collected every kind of music under the rainbow. And I was uh, a child who was always infinitely curious in every LP, every CD, every cassette he had. And one day was uh, going through the CDs and uh, picked out this CD called Glenn Miller's Greatest Hits, um, and I listened to it. And I listened to it again, listened to it again, and after several CD players broke, much to my parents' frustration, um, you know, we went on to other CD players and the collection grew. And then as I got older, I began to collect from other jazz artists. Um, we started with Charlie Barnett, okay. and then we moved on to Ellington, Basie, and then after staying in the big band era for long enough, went into bebop and, every, and the rest. So it's always been a music of curiosity for me. I've been obsessed with it for as long as I can remember, and probably will continue to be for a very long time. Well, we certainly hope so. Uh, the last couple of years have been pretty eventful for you. You've played uh, with a, numer a number of different uh, groups and people around the area. Of course, you've been playing with Harry Wilson on and off for, what, a couple of years now, I think. Huh? About three. Three years with Harry? About Is that three. right? Now, um, are you originally from this area or elsewhere? Oh, no. I was born in um, Hawthorne, California. Uh -huh. uh, then we moved up to Minneapolis when I was about four years old, and then in 2003 moved here. So I've been around, but that's what happens when your dad's a radio guy. When you move from California to Minneapolis, that's a shock. Yeah, it, you go from, uh, you know, 90 above to 90 below wind chills. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, but Minneapolis is a great town. It's a great arts town. People don't realize this, but they have a fantastic arts community in Minneapolis. Well, Ben, tell me a little bit about uh, what you have coming up. Can we see you appearing in the uh, local clubs and so forth and so on? <laughs> Well, um, I will be working with uh, the UMW Jazz Ensemble this spring. I'm currently a graduate student studying right. music education, so I will be performing with that band very extensively. Uh, you'll definitely see me around the Colonial Tavern very frequently, uh, much to the chagrin of some of the other people in the community. <laughs> but um, so Especially musicians, I might point out. Oh, yeah, it's like, oh, is that guy with the purple saxophone again, really? <laughs> we can't see the thing on stage. Get a gold one like everybody else. Purple white. Um, oh, he's, though his horn's invisible. He must be doing that throat thing. Um, anyway, uh, I'm also in the process of starting to compose some of my own music, much to the encouragement of my mentor, Doug Gately. Who's, okay. But i am started to write, and I'm in the process of forming my own group, and hopefully you'll be hearing from me specifically here very in the near future. Well, that sounds fantastic. We're really happy that you were able to join us uh, here tonight, and I hope you'll be coming back uh, from time to time and maybe uh, just kind of drop in when we're doing one of these, bring your sacks, and just jump in and join, on, join in with us. You can count on that I will be. All right. Ben Peters, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for him.
chat to drop by the Colonial Tavern in Fredericksburg for the monthly jam session sponsored in part by the Fredericksburg Jazz Collective. On the second Thursday of each month, the area's finest jazz musicians, professional and amateur alike, get together to crank out some seriously sweet jams from 7 to 9.30 p.m. See you there!
happy at uh, live at Pat's crib to have uh, Eric Jackson in the crib tonight. So let's hear a nice round of applause for Eric. Oh, yeah. Eric, I, I have to ask you about that horn. I mean, that's a dizzy Gillespie horn if I ever saw one. Yeah, just um, I I had the cornet and I just you know. I wanted to get a little bit of a different play out of it, but then also a little stylistic stuff. So I, I took it and got it modified. A uh, guy down in North Carolina, uh, Scott Sweeney, Sweeney Brass, did a really good job at uh, modifying it all. So. Well, you do know that uh, Dizzy Gillespie didn't actually plan on having that horn like that. A, <laughs> it was a, a patron in a nightclub someplace that didn't like his playing, and he took his trumpet and bent it. So I don't know. If it, I don't. I, I hope that didn't happen to you. But you say you had a professional work on it. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure people have wanted to do that and every now and again. <laughs> but you know, uh, I beat them to the punch and went ahead and got it professionally done. You know, that's always a wise move. Very wise move. What a guy. All right, uh, Eric. Are you from this area? Or are you from elsewhere? Uh, I'm actually from Williamsburg, Virginia. Okay. Um, yep. Born and raised. Uh, well, born in Newport News, but. Lived out in Williamsburg. Uh, that's where all my music, high school music training comes from. And then, um, yeah, went to college at Virginia State University. Got my degree in music, and now I'm out in the uh, community making noise. Well, you're making darn good noise. I noticed from the recording session that we were doing tonight, man, you were nailing some of those screechers. So uh, we're really happy that you were able to come in here tonight. Who is your, would you say, is your biggest inspiration? You do play like a little bit like Dizzy's. I was just wondering if that was uh, if that was your guy. So, uh, Dizzy adjacent, but uh, actually Arturo Sandoval. Oh, is, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. my yeah. top, top There favorite. you go. Let's hear a round of applause. Top favorite trumpet player. He, uh, his, his, his ideas, creativity, and then the playing in the stratosphere like that has always been something me and my friends since high school have been trying to emulate. I'll be darned. That's great. That's fantastic. Well, uh, do you have anything coming up that we should be aware of? Uh, yeah, actually, I have uh, two dates coming up in Richmond, Virginia. I'll be doing a uh, Valentine's Day event at uh, Four Cyber Cafe. Um, it'll be on the 17th and the 18th. I got a double header, so if you can't catch one, you catch the other. And uh, of course, you see me around the community, um, you know, playing here and there. And of course, at Colonial Tavern, you know. Absolutely, <laughs> have to have you come into the jam session from time to time. It's been great having you tonight. Absolutely, thank All you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Eric Jackson, right there. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you.
And ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for him.
Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, let me introduce to you the members of this fantastic amalgamation. Is that a word? Yeah. Of musicians. It is a word. Over on bass, Dan Davis. The one and only, hopefully, Bruce. <laughs> Bruce Middle on guitar. Eric A. Jackson with a bent trumpet. Dizzy Gillespie style. On sax, the one and only Ben Peters. And on piano, our good friend Steve Rapson. We will be back next month with another episode of Live at Pat's Crib. Thanks for joining us. That's it for this month's show. Thank you for joining us on Live at Pat's Crib. We've had a great time tonight. We hope you have too. And we hope next month you'll join us again with two brand new special guest artists. Don't forget, the jam session at the Colonial Tavern is coming up on Thursday from 7.30 to 9 p.m. Please come on out and support your local jazz stars. Until next month, see you later.